Hi everyone, this is Carmen from MilitarySpouseBloggers.com and today I'm going to show you real quick how to install Shareaholic onto your WordPress blog. So, um, really simple, obviously log in. And what you're going to do is go into the plugins section. Um, so it automatically takes you to your dashboard first. You'll see something like this. Then over here on the left sidebar, click plugins and you are going to add new and then do a search for shareaholic okay and um, there's two versions here um, you're going to choose the first one install now hit ok activate the plugin and then from here, you are going to um, have to customize it to add the platforms that you want to share on your blog. So go down to Shareaholic and do settings. I like the sexy bookmarks because they have that fun feature where they um, where they pop up and it just it makes me happy so anyways let's see what I want to do is then think about my audience think about where they are and for this site Spouse Bright Latina it's pretty um, simple it's a lifestyle blog so you know we don't have to worry too much about the techie um, the techie platforms like Delicious or, or even Ning and Orchid Postra so um, I always have the printer friendly I don't want Reddit I don't want Delicious I like Stumble Upon in LinkedIn, not that important because it's not um, businessy, and I don't do much um, interacting with uh, LinkedIn and Spouse Sprite Latina. So Twitter, Facebook, yes. Gmail, yes. Blogger, I have it on there just because um, I have a lot of friends that are on um, Blogger platform. Um, I prefer WordPress, so I, I stick to that. MySpace definitely have to have my. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding about MySpace. No MySpace. Ning, no, 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 no Technorati. Tumblr, you know, I'm starting to like that one, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, Yahoo Mail and Gmail, you know, I have both of those on there, but I'm going to take them off just because I don't like to clutter my, my bar. But I will put um, Fast Mail, which will enable any, um, any email platform. And, you know, I use Evernote to do a lot of my blogging and... Um, and writing so I put that on there just for myself um, because I like to be nice to myself and streamline my life and of course duh, Pinterest we have to have Pinterest because that's just you know it's the new thing and it's so much fun so once you've done that you are going to um, select these down here include open graph meta tags yes include the like button set just above the post this is personal preference but I think you should definitely do it um, Facebook like button, of course. The send button, you know, nobody really clicks on that anymore. Um, plus one, yes. And the tweet button, yes. So then it's going to look like this right here. The like, the Google, uh, the plus button, plus one, and the tweet. Okay, and then include like button set below the post. No, we don't want it below the post because we're going to have the, um, the share bar at the bottom. Now this is one thing that I really want you all to pay attention to that is fantastic. Over here you can actually customize the way you send, um, the way your readers send tweets. So what I like to do is um, do RT and then it'll have the post name right here just for example says some fancy post title. It'll have the short link and then via at spouse sprite. But what I like to do is change that up and actually put in um, mill spouse and you know something similar so maybe um, we can do Latina mom blog so that way anybody that's searching for those um, those hashtags will automatically get your post and anybody that retweets is going to already have that in there so you don't you just make it simpler for them you don't have to ask them to do it it's just already done and of course, you come down here, um, animate, expand, multi-line bookmarks. Yes, I always have that. And sharing is caring, sharing is sexy, share the love. I like sharing is caring because I, I care about everybody. So yeah, and that's all you have to do. Um, I like it below the content, not on the pages, not on the main index. And I like to show it in RSS feed. And that's it. Save changes. And you're done.